So if you can see there's not this material in here is the material that becomes waste. So I'll go to my bandsaw, I'll cut here, and I'll cut here on both pieces. Here at the bandsaw, I'm going to lower my upper blade assembly so it's about a quarter inch above your board. Turn it on. Now I have my notches cut in to uh, hold the center tape dispenser. Next step, uh, I'll probably go ahead and cut the dowels to hold the center. So like I showed you earlier, this dowel goes through the uh, center block and I cut small tenons on the ends of that so that slides down onto the sides. Um, I actually cut those on the table saw uh, by lining it up with the uh, blade that's somewhat elevated and simply spinning it. Um, so I'll go ahead and get that um, set up for you and show you how to do that over on the table saw. So on the table saw, I raised the blade up about an eighth of an inch. That way when it's all said and done, my half inch dowel will be about a quarter inch in diameter on the inside. So I'm actually going to put the blade, sorry, the dowel up to the blade and then roll it slowly across the blade while it's spinning. Once it's cut, should fit on your notches and your boards. Have to untape them. Okay, so it slides down in there. Get it so you can see it. Slides down in that notch. Okay, back up again. So now I'll measure over three and a half inches on my dowel to uh, get ready to cut the tenon for the other side of the dispenser. Once I know they fit on both ends, I can go ahead and uh, cut my dowel so it's about a quarter inch uh, past for my tenon ends. And then I'll uh, do the same thing on the other end to make the uh, second center. So now I have my front and back cut, my sides cut, 
my uh, center pieces that will hold the uh, center block cut. Um, next I'm going to actually cut these on an angle to uh, just be shaped more like a paper or sorry tape dispenser. Um, height is going to go from the height of the back side to the height of the top side. I'm not going to start that angle until once I actually get past the front edge of the back, if that makes sense. And then the other one is going to get cut off at the top of the front. Use a chunk of scrap wood, draw that line. And because these are both going to be the same, I'm going to tape all four together. Then I'll go to my bandsaw and cut these out quick. So got those all cut. I'm gonna go ahead and untape all my pieces. Let's put those four pieces together over there. And these four together in the other pile. Make sure they all go together. Like so. I'm actually going to um, mark what's the outside so I know which faces I am going to spray paint. So I just put an X on all of them so I know that those are the sides I want facing up as I spray paint them. In my finish room, I'm just going to uh, spray the outsides quickly, just a, um, a blue color. If I have enough, I might use blue for one color and a different color for the other set. Not sure, we'll see how it goes. I'm not going to leave my uh, camera in here while I'm spraying for a fear of getting paint all over it. So I'll check back in when I'm done. So I sprayed a uh, one set black. And then over here, I sprayed the other set, the um, royal blue, just like the other one. Now I'm going to go and uh, start making the uh, center hubs. So the center hub pieces are two and a quarter inches by two and a quarter inches. I had a rip fence set, sorry, set to two and a quarter inches. I'm just going to rip this uh, piece right here. With my fence, I cannot use my guard because it uh, sits on top of the fence when it's that close. Okay, now let's stop and grab my piece and I can lay out two and a quarter from the other end. Two and a quarter, two and a quarter, grab my tri-square. My tri square, draw those lines across. Go ahead and mark the centers right away. Just 
going corner to corner diagonally across my squares. Now I can drill these holes. Um, I know my holes need to be a half inch when all is said and done. I'm gonna drill them first with a um, quarter inch bit and then go back and drill them again with a uh, half inch bit. Change out my bits. Now I have the holes drilled that my uh, center axle should fit onto. Okay, so now I'll go to the miter saw and cut those two lines on the scrap side. 